Little Giant Boxing. Robert, you had a tremendous year. You know, a lot of your fighters came up on top. Um, before we get to that, talk about your son, Pita, obviously. How, how proud are you out of, of him being in your corner and always being there well, with you? We, we teamed up very well. You know, uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, outside of boxing, sometimes there's the son and, and, and dad, you know, when they do business together, they kind of hit and, 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 and disagree in a lot of things. But we don't get that with Pita. Uh, in, in the gym, you know, we're always on the same page. Uh, there is sometimes a few little things where, oh, sparring here, let's do this, let's do this. No, why don't we do this? And, and you know, he'll switch it around and, it, and, 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 and turns it around to maybe a better, to maybe uh, something better. Or sometimes I'll do the same for something better. Maybe there's something where we disagree on some fights where, should we take this fight? You think my fighter is ready for this fight? He might say no, but I think I think he is. Or I might think no, and he said he thinks he is. And you know, we could have those little disagreements, these little arguments between the team. But uh, at the end, we, we managed to to put it together. He works hard. He he loves what he does. He, he loves what he does. He, uh, he, he connects with the fighters, man, you know. All the, all the new, younger generation, you know, from, from when, when, when Josh, Tanahara, and those, those guys started, you know, he, he was not just like, like the, the coach, he was like a, like a brother to them. They would hang out, go eat. You know, I'm the, I'm the older one, so I would be like my dad was a few years back, you know, where he's just, where it was my dad and me, you know. I was, you know, in charge of everything, but my dad was always there looking after me. So I kind of, kind of that same thing. Then with Josh and Bam right now, and all the new, the new guys we have right now, pretty much the same thing, you know, just that the way my dad was with me, now that's the way I am with my, with my son. Doing great, man, I'm, I'm happy for, for Pita doing great. Uh, he's a smart kid, you know, in boxing, but also outside of boxing, he's a smart kid, you know. Very happy for him, you know. I have, you know, and you know, my my other son, Pio, also doesn't like to be involved in boxing. He likes to go to the fights. He loves boxing, he loves to go to the fights, but he also decided to go another, and he's got his own shops. He's got two shops here in, here in Paris, and you know, doing pretty good too. So, you know, I think uh, my wife, my wife, did a great job. I was focusing boxing too much that I didn't have time to do much of the much of the uh, consejos and you know stuff like that. But my, my wife did a great job with the, with my two oldest. Now we got to work on the other ones. But well, it's a beautiful family it legacy, is, you know, yeah, from Mike becoming is. a world exactly. champion to you becoming a world champion, exactly. uh, Hall of Fame, future Hall of Fame trainer. Hopefully, to hopefully. now your son, future Hall of Famer. Yeah. And yeah. obviously your dad, so I'm, I'm, it's just beautiful to see like the family coming together. It's fucking, it's nice, bro. Especially you know, when when we see last night we're at my dad's house. You know, and and we're all there, or for Christmas, Christmas Day, we were there too. Christmas night, I saw uh, Christmas karaoke. Eve. Yeah, you know, just having fun. Mikey shows up, my sisters, myself, you know, my kids, my dad. You know, we're even because sometimes you know, I, a lot, a lot of times, myself, my sister, my sister's uh, daughters, Mikey. You know, sometimes you know we might think that my, you know, my dad lost my mom three years, we lost my mom three years ago. So it's been three years that my, dad, my dad's been by himself. My sister lives with him, but there's those times where my sister has to go out and my dad's home alone. He kind of complains a little, you know, he's, he's uh, 79, he he complains, he, like, he doesn't want to be by himself. So we have to be the ones, either my sister, me, Mikey, uh, we, come by, we come by, we spend time with him. Every day at night, we're there with him. So we're 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 uh, right there, talking about some of those moments where he gets mad and he's a little, you know, a little upset at us for not for not coming. Where we also have things to do, but then at the end we see him. But look at him. But right now, he's fucking happy because he sees what he did when he came to the states illegally, fucking working through jobs that no very few people do, picking strawberries. And, and, and now seeing, you know, his two sons world champions, then he sees the rest of the family there, the grandkids, great grandkids hanging around, playing around, you know, Barris is, is great grandkids. So, so, you know, so, that, so we're like, he's happy. My dad's a happy man. So, you know, we see shit like that. And then and, and I, I love that, you know, you know, he comes to the gym and enjoys watch. this morning. I, fuck, I'm still, I'm still in, I'm still in bed and he calls me. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm still in bed, Dad. 
Let's go get breakfast. Where to? Let's go to IHOP. All right, I'll meet you there. I, went, I got up, I told my wife, my wife's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm gonna go get half breakfast with my dad. She, she's like, she's like, let me, wait, let me, maybe I could go. I'm like, nah, he, he's already there. I, I gotta go, he's already there. He's already there waiting for me. You know what I mean? You know, those, those, things, like, those things like that, those moments like that are fucking priceless, bro. Yeah, that's great. Those are priceless moments. And lastly, before I let you go, obviously you're always proud of all your fighters when they win, but talk about some of your favorite wins from the RGBA team. Man. I've had 14 world champions, bro. I've, well, I've, I've trained more and, you know, I've made 14 world champions that, win, that become world champions with me, okay? But uh, so every moment is beautiful, bro. Obviously, a great moment was my first world champion, Stevie Lueva, no? You know, that was a great moment, first world champion. I was probably in my 20s, you know what I mean? So, so it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a great moment, but, you know, Abner Mares beating Cuellar was a great personal win for me, where very few thought we could pull it off. Very few people gave us a shot. Uh, what's his name? Uh, my I, Dana. I, I, I was there. Broner, Alamodome, San Antonio. Uh, the night before. I remember. The night before in the, in the lobby in the hotel. A lot of reporters, a lot of boxing people. Everybody was talking about it. And then that year, I, I think Cuellar, Gradovich, Mikey, they had all be, been champions and now we're doing good. So they were all saying, Robert, if you win this fight, if you win this fight with, with Maidana, 100% you're, you're trainer of the year. But uh, we don't think you're going to win it. Nobody gave me a chance. There was a lot of reporters that actually put bets on, not bets on money, because I never like to bet money, but okay, you're gonna do so many push-ups after the fight if I win, or you're gonna do, I'm, I'm not gonna give you interviews for a year or whatever. <laughs> and, and after the fight, I was happy because we won. Nobody gave me a chance. I still didn't get trained of the year, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, but it was a great win. That 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 win was fucking huge. That win. Well, you're was, the people's yeah. trainer of the year. That that that, that 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 win that win was was huge because I remember nobody, still after Maidana won and he had the crown and you guys were walking backstage and everybody yeah. was going crazy. You know what? That that was that was the first time. That was on a you know it was it was Maidana versus Bronner. It was still on a, the Golden Boy. Uh, you know, uh, it was Al Heyman fighters, but it was on still on the Golden Boy promotions. And that was the first time I ever got calls from every other promoter in the world calling me to congratulate me. From people, you know, from worldwide top, top promoters calling me, congratulations, Robert, we're, we're so happy for you. I got calls from every promoter in, in, in the world, all the top promoters calling me, congratulating me for a win that they had nothing to do with. They were just happy for me. They were happy for that win that we got. So that was probably probably the, the biggest because the way it was, you know, six to one underdog, stuff like that. You know, but then we go back to, uh, uh, what's his name? Franco, Joshua Franco. He was six to one underdog too. Nobody gave us a shot against uh, Maloney and he, he, and he beat him, you know. In Oklahoma. So, so, so I've had great wins, man. You know, I can't, I, I can't, uh, I can't mention them all because fuck, I'd be have going. What about through. this year, though? This year, look, Bam had a, a great year. He he uh, he came back from a from a broken jaw, came back to 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 become unified, came down in weight, two division, became a two division champion. So Bam had a great great year. I think it was a good year for for Raymond also to. What to show his talent, people started noticing him from his fight with Nakatila. Then, then just recently, his performance uh, he had against Torres was was unbelievable. I think he he made a lot of uh, a lot of uh, noise. Uh, a lot of people started recognizing him from his uh, from his for his wins. Uh, you know the, the younger ones too. You know Jose had a good win in, in early early last year. You know I think I would love for for him to fight before the end of the year, but uh, there was a few things going on there with promotion stuff and stuff like that, so that's why he wasn't able to fight, but he would have had a, two fights this year, and he would have had a good year, too. There's, 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 you know, man, we have so many young guys, you know, like, like Chop Chop, you know, Cardenas, who are doing really good. You can really tell good Chop team. Chop's going to be a Chop champion. Bro. He's a he's motherfucker. A he's a better dude. Cardenas did really good in his fight in Arizona, too. So we got a good team, man. We got a lot of good, good, good fighters, good believers. They believe in ourselves. They believe in the team. And, and it's just the beginning, bro. You know, we're teaming up with good people around the world, you know, with, with Maxroom, Top Rank, 
Toscano Promotions has been very supportive. Mr. Honda, man, you know, we, we, I think we have we have great relationship with with everybody. You know, now that that uh, that Virgil's here, we're gonna you know be teaming up. You know, working with Golden Boy again, and and you know, man, I think next year could be even better. All right, before I let you go, anything you want to say before we close out the year? I just had a great year, and I'm telling you, I think next year will probably be even better, you know, because we have guys like, like I'm telling you, like Chop Chop Cardenas, and a lot, you know, Art Barrera, who's going to fight uh, in February. He's going to be one that people are going to open their eyes on. And just all the younger ones, man, you know, we had so many. I, I can't, it's hard to mention them all because I, I, I don't have them all. I would have to have a list to be reading them all. But, uh, you know, and Bam will be moving up to 115. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, he doesn't want just to get stay busy fights. He wants to fight the best. He says he wants Gallo next, and that's what we're going after. We're gonna we're, hopefully we get Gallo. Virgil will probably fight for a title if if everything goes well next week. He'll probably fight for a title. Raymond Mortea should fight for a title. Uh, Giovanni Santillan had a great win too. Let's not forget Giovanni Santillan had a great win. He he he'll probably he'll more likely fight for a, for a title too. You know, just to mention the ones that I don't forget, man. I don't know. I'm sorry for if, you know, cause you know, cause we had really I had forgotten about about Santiago and look at the win he had. He had tremendous. a fucking tremendous win against Rocha. So I think he'll fight for a title too. So I think this next year will be twenty twenty four will be huge for for our GBA. And, and and I don't know who else, you know, who else is gonna call me say they want to train over here. How do you decide when you're like yes or no? I know you get in with your dad. You know, with you know, with problem. yeah, with 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 most of the fighters, we always like humble kids. You know, kids that are gonna be that are gonna listen. That are I'm hungry. sure you had to reject a few, right? You know what? I've I've had guys in my gym that I have to tell. You know, I can't work with you guys anymore. You know, I tell the managers, can you guys need to find them some somewhere else to go because. It's just different, you know. The guys in my gym are humble. They, they're, they're dedicated. You know, they, they, uh, they're disciplined. So, so we need that. You know, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't like kids coming in trying to get all the attention, calling shots, trying to boss me around. None of them, nobody does that in my gym. Uh, there's also those that have that attitude where they come in, you know, jewelry, earrings, and I don't allow that. You know, I don't allow stuff like that. Uh, most everybody in my gym knows that, knows that, and they're all humble. So that that's the type of fighter we want, you know, guys that are hungry to become world champions, and and do great in boxing, but not those that that want special attention, that bring twenty guys behind them to to just hang around with them. That's not my style, you know. It's just just the way it is, you know. Fighters know that they uh those that that know that are the ones that try to be here, you know. That they know they know how we are. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate your time. Right, as always. Of course.